Welcome to this new episode of ClassPoint Updates. Now it's been around two months since our last conversation and throughout the time we have been listening to our users and incorporating all your awesome suggestions into our product design. So in this video, I'm happy to announce one very important new feature we've just added to ClassPoint as well as a few improvements we've made to existing features in ClassPoint. And there will also be a bonus at the very end of this video. So let's get started. Previously, we could set multiple choice questions in a PowerPoint using ClassPoint, and we can also define correct answers, but we couldn't uh, score our students, right? But with this new update, we can, because this new update is competition multiple choice and leaderboard. So with this update, we can, uh, at the end of class, we may want to set up a quiz to test our students, and we can automatically score our students and rank them uh, based on their uh, performance. Uh, based on their actually answers to our questions and the time they take to answer our questions. So let me show you. Okay, so in this example, I have five multiple choice questions. And as usual, to convert this to a question, I want to click the multiple choice button. Yeah, so it, a button is added and then I can move it. So this question is about most popular sports in Japan and it has four options. Each option is an image and my correct answer is A. Okay, so how to do that? I want to come here, make sure the number of choices is four. I want to uh, define a correct answer of A. Okay, and then you can see here competition mode. Check it only when you want to score your stu students because some multiple choice questions may be just posed. They're not actually uh, te test questions. And some questions, uh, you know, you don't want to include the question into your competition. It's fine. Okay. Uh, this question happened to be a competition question. So I want to check this. And after that, you can see the icon is changed to a trophy. That indicates it's a special type of uh, multiple choice. It's a competition multiple choice. Okay. So the rule is this. The first student who answered this question correctly will get 1,000 points. And then you have the second, the third. Some points would de be deducted because they, although they answered this question correctly, they answered it, uh, you know, uh, a bit more slowly than the first one, right? So number two, number three, and then there's a bottom line of 500 points. Uh, so if you answer this question correctly, at least you'll get 500 points up to 1,000 points. If you didn't answer this question correctly, of course, you will have zero points. So that is for one question. You can set unlimited number of questions, competition question in per PowerPoint file and then all the scores for the questions will be uh, added up and then you can view uh, the ranking, actually view the details as well from the leaderboard, which I will show you uh, in a short uh, while. And then before I go to slideshow mode, I want to check this box as well to give it a countdown of 15 seconds because I want my students to answer this question uh, quickly. All right, so now I'm in slideshow mode and I'm ready to start this question. So you can see it's actually exactly the same uh, as normal multiple choice. Uh, and I'd like to mention a few improvements that we've made to this dialogue. First, you can see when timer is below 10 seconds, it turns red and then I can extend the timer. Okay, because sometimes we don't know the time is not enough until we run out of time. So you can, you can actually extend every time you click this button, extend 15 seconds. If you need one minute, you just hit four times to add the time, actually you can keep adding time. Okay, so if let's say we have a large class, we may want a much longer time than we expected when we design a question. Okay, so that's first improvement. Secondly, we can have this music uh, turned on. Uh, if let's say a lot of students have already answered, uh, the, they submitted their answers and they will be waiting and we don't want them to get bored. In this, in this case, you can turn on the music. Lastly, previously we had this uh, number here indicating how many students already submitted their answers. But we didn't know who are the 20 out, out of the 21. So now you can click on live status. It shows you the dialogue. You know exactly who are the 20 students and you also know who is pending submission. So you can see the name here. You can uh, offer some help to this uh, student. Okay, so now we are ready to close this submission. Let's close that and then you can show correct answer to your class. Uh, at the end of every question, you can open leaderboard. You can choose not to open the leaderboard, but if you want to view leaderboard because 
after every question the leader's uh, ranking may change. So I want to just click in and view the current uh, top six players. So you can see their names, you can see their points, and you can see the correct rate. Okay, you can also click in uh, to show the table and view more details. And you can close it also to, to move on. Uh, a leaderboard can be accessed after each competition question, as well as directly from the toolbar. Also, when you exit, exit your slideshow, uh, you can close this file, go back to your office and open this file again. It can be accessed from uh, the ribbon as well. So you are open and you can view the leaders uh, again. Uh, and this may be the better time to show the table. So you can show table, it gives you more information such as their names and scores and correct rate, participation rate, and their answers to uh, each and every uh, question, right? So if let's say I want to sort by name instead of rank, I can click the name, then it will give me the name ranking. If I want to use the data in some other applications, I can also export uh, the full data as CSV and import that to my, uh, let's say, learning management system for further analytics. All right, so these are the new features I would like to mention in this ClassPoint update. And by the time you watch this video, if you are on ClassPoint standard plan, you should already have been uh, updated to version 1.9, which contains all the changes here. Okay, so let's move on to the bonus. I would like to invite all of you to join this webinar, which will happen on the 18th of September, where we will invite educators to come and share their best practices to engage students virtually when teaching online. So I have invited two experts to join us, a senior lecturer from ITE Singapore and a senior lecturer from Taylor's University Malaysia. So they will share their uh, teaching methodologies, their best practice to engage students and their user experiences with ClassPoint. And this webinar is sponsored by Wacom Singapore. Wacom is the market leader for graphics tablets, which uh, works uh, perfectly with ClassPoint and perfectly for online teaching in general. So we will be giving out three uh, tablets during this webinar to our attendees. Okay, so if you're interested in online teaching, you want to get expert advices, or if you want to get the tablets uh, to do digital inking, be sure to register for this webinar and be sure to share this video, share this message with your colleagues as well. Okay, so bye for now and I will see you uh, in the webinar. Thank you.